हेलो दोस्तों बायोजी बिट्स चैनल पर मैं डॉक्टर सुनील पाटिल आपका फिर से स्वागत करता हूँ लास्ट लेक्चर में हमने सेल डिवीजन में माइटोसिस डिटेल में स्टडी किया था इस वीडियो में हम सेल डिवीजन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट दैट इज मेवासिस के बारे में डिटेल में स्टडी करेंगे बहुत ज़्यादा क्वेश्चन मेवासिस पे होते हैं इंस्टेड ऑफ माइटोसिस सो मेवासिस ये सबसे ज़्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट है सेल डिवीजन का अगर ये लेक्चर ये वीडियो आपको अच्छा लगे तो इसको सब्सक्राइब करना ना भूलिए जिससे कि आपको नए आने वाले वीडियो के बारे में पता चलेगा तो हम अभी मेवासिस के डेफिनेशन पे मूव करते हैं सबसे पहले हम देखते हैं डेफिनेशन ऑफ मेवासिस दी वर्ड मेवासिस इट इज़ ग्रीक वर्ड इट मीन्स टू डिमिनिश दाइंटिस्ट जे बी फार्मर कॉइन द टर्म मेवासिस इन नाइनटीन टू डिमिनिश इज द मीनिंग ऑफ वर्ड मेवासिस मेवासिस ओनली टेक takes place in germ cell in reproductive cell or the cell in which meiosis takes place they are called the meiocytes so meiosis only takes place in diploid cells that is 2n to form haploid gametes or haploid cell that is the number of chromosome is reduced to half hence it is also called as the reductional division or it is also called as the meiosis so it may define in other word a uh, definition of meiosis may in this way हम दूसरी तरफ दूसरी तरह से भी मेवासिस डिफाइन कर सकते हैं दैट इज द इट इज द स्पेशलाइज काइंड ऑफ सेल डिवीजन दैट रिड्यूस द क्रोमोजोमल नंबर बाय हाफ रिजल्ट इन द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ हेप्लॉइड डॉटर सेल्स एट द प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड एज मेवासिस सो दिस इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ मेवासिस द मेवासिस कैन बी डिवाइडेड और कंप्लीटेड इन टू स्टेजेस दैट इज मेवासिस फर्स्ट एंड मेवासिस सेकेंड टू डिविजन्स आर देयर टू सीरियल्स ऑफ डिविजन्स आर देयर meiosis first it is also called as the heterotypic division while the meiosis second it is also called as the homotypic division heterotypic means the new new cells which are formed they are not same as the parent cell and homotypic means the new cells daughter cells which are formed they are same as the parent cell from which they are formed so these two types of uh, meiosis may divided into these two large parts that is meiosis first and meiosis second meiosis first again categorize as you well known as same in the mitosis names are there prophase first metaphase first anaphase first and telophase first and it is a cytokinesis means two cells are formed from single cell that two cell enter into the meiosis second then meiosis second that is homotypic division it it is again categorized into prophase second metaphase second anaphase second and telophase second and then finally cytokinesis takes place means out of this two cell each cell divided into again two so totally one cell is divided into four cell in the meiosis so we are going to see one by one that is first one is the prophase first of the meiosis first so it is the longest and more complex uh, when com in compare with the prophase of the mitosis it has been divided or subdivided on the basis of chromosomal behavior it is very important part prophase first of the meiosis first as it is different than the mitosis and it is the only different part the remaining part is comparatively same as the mitosis so once you understand the prophase first that means you understand the meiosis completely so as the, there are changes of behavior of the chromosome accordingly there are five types that is liptotin is the first one in the second one zygotin pachytin diplotin dikinesis the first two letter of each form the lazy pa didi in liptotin the chromosomes are visible the chromosome which are replicated in the interface the sister chromatid come close together homologous chromosomes also comes close together in zygotin they meet to each other in their entire length pachytin they meets to their length and they form the synaptonemal complex uh, as well as there is a chasmata formation and crossing over takes place in the pachytin in diplotin the chasmata terminates toward the one end of the chromosome and they try to separate up to the dikinesis they get separated so lazy pa didi means liptotin zygotin pachytin diplotin and dikinesis we are going to see one by one in detail then you will get the complete idea हम अभी एक एक देखने वाले हैं लिप्टोटिन जाइगोटिन पैचिटिन डिप्लोटिन एंड डायकानिसिस इन डिटेल सो फर्स्ट वन वी आर गोइंग टू सी द लिप्टोटिन स्टेज द लिप्टोटिन इट इज अगेन ग्रीक वर्ड लिप्टास मीन्स नैरो और थीन एंड टेनिया मीन्स थ्रेड द थीन थ्रेड आर विजिबल 
in the liptodin stage first threads are visible the chromosomes become distinct long thread like and coiled the chromosome take up a specific bucket stage as the ends of chromosome converge towards the side of centromere so centrosome so in the figure you can see that these two red color and blue color they are homologous chromosome each homologous chromosome having two sister chromatids means this one blue color and this one blue color they are sister chromatid this red one and this red one it is sister chromatid red and blue they are homologous chromosome so sister chromatid it is name given to this red color chromosome and uh, synaptonomal complex it is next part we will see there the kinetochore are formed when they meet to each other at the centromeres uh, these two are the homologous red and blue they are homologous chromosome so this is the first stage liptotin means the chromosomes are threads are visible they continuously chromosome become distinct and thread like and coil and they start to become short then the compaction of chromosome continues throughout the liptotin the chromosome become compact the volume of nucleus increases the centriole divides into two and migrates to opposite pole it is the beginning of uh, movement of centriole towards the two poles they goes away from each other and they goes to the opposite pole of the each other so liptotin is the first stage of prophase first then zygotin is the second stage then we are going to see the zygotin stage zygotin the it is also greek word zygon means the adjoining or pairing and tenia means paired threads or mating threads so pairing threads it is the meaning of zygotin the you can see in the figure these are two sister chromatid these two are the sister chromatid and this and this are the homologous chromosome so it is one pair only each having a uh, duplicated chromatid that is replication takes place in the interface replication takes place in the interface the sister chromatid comes close together in this phase that is zygotin the sister chromatid meets in the centromere to each other it is shown in the figure so intimate pairing of non sister chromatid and of homologous chromosome takes place by formation of synaptonomal complex the this is one pair this is another pair the first one chromatid of one uh, non sister chromatids of the homologous pair they meets to their entire length and they form the synaptonomal complex their meeting point is called as synaptonomal complex we'll see this part again in the next figures Uh, this pairing is called as the synapsis each pair consists of maternal chromosome and a paternal chromosome <coughs> as these are homologous chromosome one is maternal suppose blue is maternal then red is paternal or vice versa then a maternal and a paternal chromosome they comes in contact they contact point there it is called as synaptonomal complex and this synaptonomal complex for the exchange of segment of the uh, chromatid takes place in the next uh part the third one that is the pachytin pachytin is also greek word pachus means thick and tenia means thread so thick thread is the meaning of pachytin the it is longer sub stage of the prophase first or longest sub stage of the prophase first as prophase first is the longest in the meiosis out of that pachytin is the longest one in the prophase first important word is their crossing wall takes place during this phase you can see that synaptonomal complexes are formed uh, synapsis occurs do, uh, during the zygotin stage and of the prophase first we have already seen the crossing wall occurs during the pachytin stage of prophase first the crossing wall there is break in the segment of chromosome there is exchange of the chromosome takes place in the next stage that is dikinesis and it is called as the crossing wall and this point it is called as the chasmata the point of contact of two non sister homologous chromosome called as the chasmata the x shaped crossing wall point it is called as the chasmata many chasmata are formed throughout the length this chasmata chasma get disappear and it become single chasma it goes towards the one tip of the chromosome it is called as the termination which takes place in the next substage that is diplotin diplotin diplo means double 
and NM is thread. Two threads are formed, means they get separated. The beginning of diplotin is recognized by dissolution of the synaptonormal complex. Hmm? This synaptonormal complex get dissolution, there is exchange takes place. The tendency of the recombinant homologous chromosome of the bivalent to separate from each other except at the sites of crossover chasmata. They get separated except at the uh, chasmata point and this chasmata shifted toward the tip. Hmm? This uh, it is called the termination which occurs in the dikinesis. The remains attached here in the diplotin. The oocyte of some vertebrate diplotin can last for months or years. The dissolution takes place in non-sister chromatid. These are called the it is called the bivalent stage. Uh, but uh, four chromatids are there. These are sister chromatid of the homologous. So it is called also called the tetrad stage. This tetrad get separated into diet stage. Hmm? It is monovalent structure. Only sister chromatids with exchange segment of gene is there. The next part is the you can see the same chasmata in the figure. Many chasmata are shown in the figure. The next fifth one it is the dikinesis. We are going to see the dikinesis. The entire figure is there. These are the non sister chromatid uh, blue and red. The non sister chromatid form the synaptonemal complex or it is called the single it is shifted it is called the chasmata after synaptonemal complex the uh, tetrad get dyed means uh, bivalent become monovalent they get separated and in remaining part as in the meiosis second takes place so dikinesis uh, through or cross motion hmm? when motion takes place they get separated means chasmata shifted toward the tip during dikinesis the chasmata moves toward the tip of chromosome this movement of chasmata is called the terminalization during this phase meiotic spindle is assembled to prepare the homologous chromosome for separation the nucleolus disappear nuclear envelope also break down dikinesis represent the transitions state to the metaphase means uh, prophase it is end of prophase and now the metaphase will be began at this stage means uh, the centriole at the opposite pole and the spindle fibers the microtubule and the aster from the spindle fiber they connect to the kinetochore and next stage it is the metaphase these things are happen in the pro metaphase so metaphase first the bivalent chromosome that is tetrad move toward the equatorial plate this tetrad moves toward the equatorial plate this is equatorial or middle part the microtubule from the opposite pole of the spindle attached to the kinetochore of the homologous chromosome this attached to the kinetochore of homologous chromosome these two are the homologous chromosome with exchange segment of genes in it due to or it is also called the recombinant part of the uh, chromatid due to the increasing repulsive forces between homologous chromosome they are ready to separate from each other repulsive forces means this part get contract and they go opposite to each other means it is the figure of metaphase first of meiosis first tetrad along the metaphase plate only two tetrads are shown here two tetrads actually more are there according to the number of the genome the so next one is the anaphase we are going to see the anaphase so anaphase first in this phase homologous chromosome are pulled away from each other are carried toward the opposite pole by spindle apparatus spindle apparatus this is disjunction a important word eh? this is called the disjunction the two sister chromatid of each chromosome do not separate sister chromatid do not separate in meiosis first but the whole chromosome are pulled toward the opposite pole you can see uh, it is in the figure in the interface they get it is one chromosome actually it is get uh, replicated 
these two are the sister chromatids these two are the sister chromatids this single one it form the tetrad in the prophase first which is we are saying in the metaphase already then in anaphase this sister chromatid togetherly goes toward the opposite pole these two are the homologous chromatids the remaining part is the next one your exchange are shown prophase first then this is anaphase first it is metaphase it is anaphase first and this is telophase so it is shown this is figure of anaphase so in this this junction takes place of the whole chromosome are pulled toward the opposite pole it is called the anaphase then last one is the telophase the in some cases the change of telophase may not found the anaphase directly leads to the prophase of the meiosis second in some cases anaphase directly leads to the prophase second that is meiosis second so in most of the organism the telophase first is found the chromosomes are reaching their respective poles as the, in the last stage of the anaphase become uncoiled and elongated the nuclear membrane and nucleolus reappear and thus two nuclei two daughter nuclei are formed er endoplasmic reticulum begins to form the nuclear envelope then after the telophase cytokinesis takes place cytokinesis first after karyokinesis cytokinesis occurs two haploid cells are formed in many cases i have already these daughter cells pass through a short resting phase it is called as the interkinesis or interphase so this is the meiosis first then we are moving to the meiosis second that is uh, second meiotic division or it is also called as the homotypic division as homotypic means the two daughter cells which are formed at the end they are same as the parent cells from which it is began so during this division two haploid cells form during first meiotic division divide further into four haploid cells means each divide into two haploid cells the as in the meiot meiosis uh, first division the chromosomes with the sister chromatids in interphase second differs from interphase first being there is no dna replication hmm? interphase second mein dna replication nahi hota hai the daughter cells form in second meiotic division are similar to their parent cell with respect to chromosomal number form in the meiosis first hence this division is also called the homotypic division in the case of human at this stage each cell consists 23 chromosome which consists of two sister chromatids each consists of two sister chromatids means then each sister chromatid again separated and they form 23 chromosome in the from single cell to haploid cells are in this way form it consists of the following phases prophase second metaphase second anaphase second telophase second and cytokinesis so this is meiosis second you can see this is metaphase anaphase in metaphase these are two sister chromatid in anaphase each sister chromatid gets separated and it is divided into two cells it is also sister chromatid then this form of means these are two chromosome different so in this way they form nuclear envelope and this is telophase in same thing happen in the second cell so two cells enter in the meiosis second and each form two cell means total four cell haploid cells are formed these are also haploid but with the sister chromatid these are without sister se separate chromosomes are formed so here are two chromosome here are also two chromosome these two chromosomes with the sister chromatid these two are without sister chromatid in this way four haploid cells or gametes are formed in the last so we are going to see the each stage in detail in the next uh, slides first one is the prophase second each centrivole divides into two resulting in the formation of two centrivole which migrate to opposite pole and form aster aster with the micro tubule form the spindle fiber spindle fiber form between the centrivole the nuclear membrane and the nucleolus disappear the prophase then metaphase second chromosomes get arranged at the equator the two chromatids of each chromosome are separated by the division of centromere then anaphase second it separate chromatid the separated chromatid become daughter chromosome 
the sister chromatid become daughter chromosome in other words and move to opposite pole due to the contraction of the spindle fiber attached to centromere and last one is the telophase second during this stage daughter chromosome uncoiled the nuclear membrane surrounds each group of chromosome and the nucleolus reappear the cytokinesis second happen two haploid cells are formed from each haploid cell thus in the thus in all total four haploid daughter cells are formed these cells undergo further changes to develop into the gametes that is by the gamete uh, differentiation it form the spermatozoa or ova so we are going to see again all things so in the interface the chromosomes get duplicated or replicated in the s phase of the interface the this is the prophase first the homologous chromosomes comes to close together each having a sister chromatid ye blue mein do hai aur red mein do hai hmm? or the, they comes to the entire length that is synaptonemal complexes are formed chasmata are formed exchange of nucleus these are the chasmata then in the metaphase first they comes at the equator exchange takes place crossing over takes place then they comes at the equator then they moves toward the opposite pole these two are the sister chromatid single chromosome it's homologous it is homologous chromosome they they reaches to the opposite pole and nuclear membrane uh, covering is formed that is in uh, telophase first nuclear membrane covering is formed they divide into two cell each enter into the meiosis second in the prophase first as usual the uh, nuclear membrane disappear the centriole migrates to opposite pole then they comes at the equatorial plate then kinetochore is attached to the uh, spine spindle fiber the v shaped structure are form sister chromatid they goes away from each other in this way these three chromosomes are separated these three are separated in each cell in telophase second the two cells are formed form from the single haploid cell which is formed here so totally four haploid cells are formed it is the meiosis so this is about the meiosis uh, then we are going to see the significances of meiosis the constant number of chromosome in a given species across generation is maintained by meiosis because of crossing over exchange of genetic material takes place leading to genetic variation crossing over ki wajah se variation hota hai aur constant number of chromosome in given species across from generation to generation same number of chromosome remains in the particular species it is due to the meiosis due to crossing over differences between the same species are found that is variation it is it also increase the genetic variability in the population of organism due to crossing over same thing variation are very important for the process of evolution so variation is related to the evolution so these are significances then at last we are going to see the distinguishing character between mitosis and meiosis so few distinguishing character which are important first one mitosis is a sexual cell division in which two replica are formed with an equal number of chromosome in diploid to diploid cell are produced in meiosis it is sexual cell division in which the number of chromosome are reduced to half of the uh, diploid to form haploid cell or gametes are formed second thing it mitosis occur continuously in the body or body cells or somatic cell while the meiosis it occurs in the gametic cell in gametogenesis only third thing in mitosis no pairing or no synopsis takes place between the homologous chromosome no crossing over is formed while in meiosis pairing takes place or synopsis takes place between the homologous chromosome showing crossing over means the recombinant different kind of uh, chromosomes are formed it takes place with only single division mitosis and meiosis takes place in two successive division which occur one after the other meiosis first and meiosis second Uh, next one is the in mitosis no exchange of genetic material between the homologous chromosome in meiosis there is exchange of genetic material takes place between the homologous chromosome the chromosomal number in the mitosis remains same in the new daughter cell the chromosomal number is reduced 
to half in the daughter cell or gametes. Two daughter uh, diploid 2N cells are formed at the end from single diploid cell. Four daughter haploid means single N cells are formed from at the from a diploid cell in the meiosis. And egg cells are those cells are there. Diploid is diploid. Egg diploid cells are char haploid cells are there. So this is about the meiosis. So by the bio bits, have a nice day. Thank you.